the Lamborghini Huracan is the continuation of the most popular model from the Lamborghini stable, the Lamborghini Gallardo, which after 10 years of production has recorded sales of over 14,000 units. Thus, in 2014, the first Huracan was introduced, five years later recording the sales that Gallardo made in its 10 years of life. The Huracan made its world debut at the Geneva Motor Show in 2014 under the name LP614, where LP stands for Longitudinal Posterior, meaning the position of the engine, 610 horsepower, and four-wheel drive. At the same time, the name Huracan comes from the Spanish word for hurricane and is inspired by a Spanish fighting bull. The Lamborghini Huracan LP614 is built on an integrated structure of carbon fiber and aluminum elements, weighing 1,422 kilograms. At the same time, the performance of the LP614 comes with a 5.2-liter V10 engine derived from the Gallardo, but with an increase of up to 610 horsepower at 8,250 rpm and a torque of 560 newton meters at 6,500 rpm. What does this mean? Well, an acceleration from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3.2 seconds, one second less than the Gallardo. The Huracan is the first production supercar with full LED headlights and the Y-shaped driving lights have already become iconic for this series. The interior is also emblematic, where hexagonal shapes predominate. Behind the steering wheel, there are two gear shift levers and several controls are located on its spokes. Something new only seen on the Huracan is the red switch on the steering wheel, which is the driving dynamic selector, and switches from street to sport to Corsa. It is known that automobile Lamborghini is an important source for Italian state police cars. After one of the two Gallardo Polizias was destroyed in an accident, Lamborghini donated a blue-white Huracan LP614 Polizia with a V10 engine. Ladies and gentlemen, the all-new Lamborghini Huracan LP610-4 Spider. In 2015, Lamborghini unveiled the open version of the coupe LP610 Spider. Under the hood, the LP16 4 Spider comes with the same 5.2 liter V10 engine, the same LDF 7 speed dual clutch transmission as the coupe. Due to the chassis reinforcement components, the Spider is 120 kilograms heavier than the coupe. Acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour is in 3.4 seconds. Unveiled at the ACI Vallelunga circuit, the Huracan LB622 Super Trofeo is a racing version of the Huracan for the 2015 Lamborghini Blanc Paint Super Trofeo series. Under the hood, it hides a 5.2-liter V10 developing 620 horsepower. The carbon fiber and aluminum hybrid chassis helps this racing variant weigh just under 1,270 kilograms, offering a power-to-weight ratio of 2 kilograms per horsepower. The Lamborghini Huracan GT3 was introduced in 2015 for the 2015 Blanc Paint GT Series Endurance Cup race held at Monza. The race car was developed together with the Italian racing car manufacturer Talara and features a 5.2-liter V10, which develops 526 horsepower and 510 newton meters. The Huracan GT3 came with a body made of composite material, which gives the car a weight of 1,230 kilograms. Also, the GT3 only comes with rear-wheel drive and steel disc brakes. Unveiled at the 2016 Geneva Motor Show, the Huracan LP580 II, a roughly $40,000 cheaper version than the base LP610 IV. As the name suggests, the LP582 comes with a rear-wheel drive, a V10 engine that offers 580 horsepower. At the same time, this model puts 60% of its weight on the rear wheels and is 33 kilograms lighter than the LP610-4, accelerating from 0 to 100 kilometers in 3.4 seconds. The 582 version comes with a new front bumper, redesigned rear section and an horizontal slat in each of the wide front side grooves, and the lower lips is black regardless of the color of the car. Inside, Lamborghini introduced high bolstered both seats on the sides and placed the buttons for the transmission, parking brakes and the engine starter on the center console. The convertible version of the Huracan LP582 was revealed at the Los Angeles Auto Show in 2016. The LP582 Spider is rear-wheel drive and was powered by the same engine as the Coupe, accelerating from 0 to 100 km an hour in 3.6 seconds. 
Unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 2016, the Avio is the first limited edition of the Huracan, being built in only 250 copies. This limited edition was inspired by fighter planes, as evidenced by the tricolor cockade and the inscription L63 on the car, signifying the L from Lamborghini and 63, the year 1963 in which Ferruccio Lamborghini founded Automobile Lamborghini. Also, this speed edition celebrates the 100th anniversary of the founder. In 2017, Lamborghini introduced more power and speed with the new Huracan Performante. It retains the four-wheel drive transmission from the LP610 4, but adds 30 bhp to the 5.2-liter V10 engine, being able to accelerate from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 2.9 seconds. The Huracan Performante gets an aluminium body combined with Lamborghini's own forged composite material and the car's old new aerodynamic components have active aerodynamic capability and help keep the car stable at high speeds. The bumpers come with a new design without grills, larger side sills, a transparent engine cover, and several air intakes and massive rear wing, made from a single piece. Inside the Huracan Performante, forged composite is used on the air vents, paddles, door handles, and center console, while Alcantara fabric completes the elegant and sporty look. The Huracan Performante has been equipped with adaptive magneteorological dampers for higher cornering speeds and uses the new ALA Aerodynamical Lamborghini Ativa system, which provides 750% more downforce than the standard Huracan. Another special model was the Huracan LP582, signed by Pope Francis himself and was auctioned by Sotheby's, with the proceeds going directly to the Holy See for the reconstruction of the Nenoe plane. The Huracan has been customized with a unique paint shop that references the Vatican flag, and the Pope's signature appears on the driver's side near the windshield. The Huracan was later sold during the Sotheby auction at the Grimaldi Forum in Monte Carlo for €715,000. The spider version of the Performante was unveiled at the Geneva Motor Show in 2018. It looks the same as the Coupe except without a roof. Compared to the Coupe, the Spider is 125 kg heavier due to chassis reinforcement components and is two tenths of a second slower when accelerating from 0 to 100 km an hour. In 2019, Lamborghini launched the Huracan Evo, which shares the engine and technologies with the Performante model. Namely, the 5.2-liter V10 engine produces 640 horsepower and reaches 100 km an hour in just 2.9 seconds. The Huracan Evo also features new rear-wheel steering and a torque vectoring system that works on all four wheels. The new Lamborghini comes with a new, more aggressive design language for improved aerodynamics and the new ducktail spoiler provides five times more downforce compared to the previous model. On the inside, Lamborghini has introduced a new 8.4-inch HMI capacitive touchscreen located in the central console and the infotainment system comes with advanced connectivity features. Of course, Lamborghini also launched the Spider version of the Evo. It has the same improvements as the Coupe model, but is 100 kg heavier and takes 3.1 seconds to reach 100 km an hour. The next model, the Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo Evo, is the successor to the Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo. The new Super Trofeo comes with a completely new aerodynamic design, and under the hood, the 5.2-liter V10 engine generates 620 horsepower. The Huracan GT3 Evo made its debut in the Daytona 2019 race, where it won for the second time the victory in GTD class with the Grasser Racing Team. The GT3 Evo's performance comes from the upgraded 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 engine with 588 horsepower and a slightly reduced weight. In 2020, Lamborghini launched a rear-wheel drive version of the Evo replacing the LP582. Its engine is detuned to 610 horsepower, thus being slower than the Evo Coupe, reaching 100 km an hour in 3.3 seconds. On the outside, the front bumper comes with a more aggressive-looking design for the outer intakes, while the rear diffuser also gets a new look. A unique paint option, Giallo Bellinis is also available, which blends perfectly with the leather-trimmed and micro-leather interior. The rear-wheel drive convertible version of the Evo was introduced in 2020, and like the coupe version, the Spider has 610 horsepower and acceleration time from 0 to 110 km an hour of 3.5 seconds. 
The next model, the Huracan SDO, which stands for Super Trofeo approved, is a road legal version of the Super Trofeo Evo racing model. In terms of design, it is totally different, with a new front splitter that directs the airflow to the bottom of the car and to the rear diffuser, where we also find a new air intake to improve cooling. The interior of the Huracan STO features carbon fiber in the cockpit, including carbon fiber mats and sports seats wrapped in Alcantara to reduce weight. The Huracan STO is powered by a 5.2-liter V10 engine producing 640 horsepower, has rear wheel drive with rear wheel steering and Formula One inspired CCMR brakes. The Huracan STO reaches 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3 seconds. Inspired by the capsule idea from the Urus, Lamborghini implemented this in their EV10 range. Thus, it launched the Huracan Evo Fluo capsule for 2021, where five bright and bold colors are available in a matte exterior finish. In 2022, Lamborghini revealed the Huracan Technica, a version located in the range between the Huracan Evo RWD and the Huracan STO. The new silhouette of the Huracan is highlighted by the new front spoiler but also by its rear, which has been almost completely modified. Carbon fiber engine cover hexagonal ends for the exhaust system, new spoilers, air diffuser, and a spoiler improves the downforce by 35%. Thus, thanks to the carbon fiber elements, the car weighs 10 kilograms less than the Huracan Evo RWD. Inside, we can find a redesigned HMI interface, the driver's instrument panel reduces colors and enhances readability in a new large bow in front of the pilot. It also comes equipped with V10 engines from the Huracan STO, which develops 640 horsepower, enough to reach 100 km an hour in 3.2 seconds. The Huracan LP622 Super Trofeo Evo 2 was introduced in 2022 and features major aerodynamic changes compared to its sibling, the Super Trofeo Evo. The front was restyled, featuring new light cluster and a pronounced Omega lip, along with new air curtain intakes. The rear wings are composed of a single element, which includes part of the side spoiler. The Super Trofeo Evo 2 is powered by a 5.2-liter naturally aspirated V10 that delivers a maximum power of 610 horsepower. In 2022, Lamborghini also unveiled the Huracan GT3 Evo 2, which can be purchased as a new car or as an upgraded kit for the previous generations. Under the hood of the new Huracan is mounted a 5.2-liter V10 engine, which develops 640 horsepower. It comes with styling cues from the Huracan STO and features a new air intake system and aerodynamic package. The Huracan GT3 Evo 2 will make its competitive debut at the 2023 Daytona 24 hours. In 2019, Lamborghini presented an off-road concept car based on the Huracan Evo called the Huracan Cerato. The concept was highlighted by a higher ground clearance compared to the Huracan and was equipped with 20-inch rims, especially for off-road conditions. Now, three years later, Lamborghini presented the first teaser that confirms the name Huracan Cerato and the fact that the series model remained faithful to the concept presented in 2019. So. The Huracan Cerato gets new spoilers, 20-inch wheels, raised underbody, revised air intakes, redesigned air diffuser, and LED auxiliary lights. As for the naturally aspirated 5.2-liter V10 engine, it will most likely develop 640 horsepower. This is also the latest variant the Huracan will receive, as it will be replaced by a more environmentally friendly model equipped with a plug-in hybrid propulsion system.